Next up, we have Dima. Dima is going to talk to us about applied tuples. Over to you, Dima. Hello. So I hope you see my share. Um, so applied tuples. It's all about the plus plus. A little bit hardcore-ish, and I should have focus over here. Hopefully, maybe. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> it's actually it's C plus plus twenty because that's the current standard. <clears throat> So where it all began, um, we wanted to write this funky piece of code. Um, we basically have two ranges. We want to iterate over them. We have one range, and we want an index of that. Doesn't seem to be too complicated, right? So this, by the way, all legal uh, uh, C++, right? The end, yeah, the syntax. Um, if you haven't done them, um, structured binding, giving names to pieces is great. Uh, range views, IOTA, gives you a sequence of uh, values. Also great, C++20, loving it, uh, and uh, well, oh, it nearly compiles. SCD zip is not a thing. Uh, even if I had written SCD ranges view zip, in which case the line would not fit on the line, uh, it still wouldn't compile. So um, this came out of uh, something which I do every week. We do a mod programming, and we try out new things in C++ and try to implement somewhat useful stuff. And we're on to a tangent, and we keep working on tangents. So we want to implement zip. So, zip, how hard can it be, right? That's obviously, first off, zip being two ranges, boring. Zip being n ranges, way more useful, obviously. Um, so, what we do is, uh, well, we create a range, and if you say begin, you get a iterator which holds all the iterators of the underlying guys. And if you dereference that guy, it gives you a tuple of, uh, uh, well, tuple references. And uh, well, if you increment something, the iterators move in lockstep. And turns out there are a little bit of problems with the end iterator sentinel. It's simple as well. But for example, the IOTA range is way longer than any range we pass. It's infinite and, well, sort of ish. Uh, so you may have things with different lengths. So it becomes all funny. Um, so as a view, actually, a really simple thing. Um, so we have basically our zip thingy down here, and uh, it's a lot of stuff and iterator. Uh, it basically stores ranges, and we construct an iterator by a range. And uh, well, this is the, the key thing I want to talk a little bit. And well, there's a question mark over here. How do we get, so we get a tuple of ranges, and we want to create a uh, tuple of iterators of from these ranges. So what do we do? And um, the interesting bit is, well, tuple, basically we want to turn a tuple uh, of ranges into a tuple of iterators. Um, if we do it with one, it's easy, right? We can basically just use begin on a range and we get out an iterator. That's simple. If you have two ranges, um, that's similarly simple, right? We go, oh, right, well, we just create a tuple of uh, the first and the second one. So, we could, in principle, if we had something like an I being a pack expansion, doing a one, a zero, one, two, three, and so on, uh, we could do that, but we, we don't have that. And uh, somebody pointed out to me, and I thought this was awesome, well, we can use apply. So what does apply do? Apply takes a function, or function object, and a tuple. And the tuple over here is the ranges. And the ply actually over here is a generic tuple taking any number of arguments. And all it does is internally, it actually creates a tuple which calls begin on the pack of ranges over here and returns that as a tuple. This is, I think, awesome. This is apply is, is really, really awesome. So apply with lambda. Likewise, we want to uh, increment operator. Uh, all the iterators in, in lockstep. So we can do the same over here. We just do apply, and this time we take references of iterators, and we just call uh, plus plus, and we have a pack expansion over here. There's a void thingy over here just to make them all the same type. So I don't think it's even needed. And then iterators is all iterators. And then we just return things. And uh, yeah, this is basically all I wanted to, to talk about because I I did, wasn't aware of that. I didn't know how to use these things uh, properly until somebody pointed out. So I so I pointed out to everybody. So apply tuples. Uh, thanks. 
Thank you very much, Diva. That was great. And you single-handedly used an entire hour's quota of uh, syntax in one five-minute talk. I salute you. What has 20 legs and flies? 10 pairs of trousers, obviously. Or five dead horses. I'll leave you to think about that. 